Yeah! Yeah! How's it going, brother? What are you saying? Everything good? I'm good, I'm good. It's your boy, Yerimi, 23-year-old trader. It's crazy to say it, but welcome to my free bed, free bath, penthouse. Yes, I said it right, penthouse. Alhamdulillah, we were, we were broke before. It was crazy days, the card was declining. And now, with the, the glory of God, Alhamdulillah, we're here. There's no more higher floors. This is the highest floor in this building. Yesterday's price is not today's price. Welcome, come inside, come inside, let's go. I'm gonna give you guys a tour. So first up here, should we start with a, no, let's start properly. Let's start with the toilet, okay, as you can see here. So, um, everything here, I've basically done myself, other than the toilet, obviously I didn't put the toilet here. But um, the lot was all me. Hey, these little drains, I've always seen this in a hotel, so I've got the towels, done it all myself and this. It looks a bit mash up now, because I had some guests over just earlier. Yeah, I'm really trying to do this aesthetic thing, and I can't lie, I'm gonna say this over here publicly, my mum's probably watching this, but growing up, I've always been with my mum and she's always thought I was messy. I'm actually not a messy guy. I'm genuinely not a messy guy, but you see when you come from like a cultural household where your mum's just always trying to baby you, she thinks you can't do anything by yourself. She thinks you're not independent. So let me show you guys how I've cleaned this house myself. Designed everything, I picked out the sofas, I had it unfurnished, I got furnished everything myself. Everything you see here, I bought it myself and I designed it and I furnished it etc. So I wanted to make that clear from the beginning because hey listen I can't lie I've got a huge passion for interior design and I think I'm going to start like another business soon doing that on, on the low key but this is a bit messy but this is the laundry room. I've got some dirty clothes I need to wash right now you know them ones there Costco trips and them things there. You can make this a bedroom hmm. have another little single uh, bed here. I, I, I learned how to use a dishwasher I'm going to show you guys don't play with me. Shout out to my boy Saleh, he told me how to use it. He's married, so married life, you get me? But um, as, we, as, we, as we're here in the drip section already, today's drip is literally simple. First up for the crepes, we've got the Louis. Okay, I've got these jeans from Primark. I uh, mean, hey, I always stay true to myself. Primark is, yeah? This top is from Zara. This gilet is from Primark. You get me? But over here, you've got these, um, are we doing prices? I'm not sure if these, these Valentinos, I think these are like 600. These normal Gucci slides are like 250. These um, Jacob Cohen's, I think they're called, yeah. Like free bills, they're on sale or something. These Burberry's are like 800 pounds, 700 pounds or something. These Amiri's, around about the same price. Valentino camos, I bought a whole outfit for this, so nice classic Valentino blacks. I'll show you guys the rest later in this calm, but that's just the ones from this, my last little shopping spree. The rest is at home. But yeah, if you can come from this side so they can see exactly what I see from when I walk into this place. <sighs> Tell me about it, man. Tell me about it. Trust me, like, you, guys are un you don't understand how surreal this feels like. I couldn't do this kind of stuff a year and a half ago. Yeah, it's, it's mad. So as soon as you walk in here, you come into the kitchen. One thing I love about this, because of the area Canary Wharf, usually you're pray, you're, you're praying, you're, you're paying overpriced um, fees for like a small box to live in. Whereas this place, you can actually walk around the house and you know what I'm trying to say, the kitchen, got a nice little platform. Um, what are these, what's this called? Is it called a platform? Yeah, kitchen top. Kitchen top. It's got, it's got an actual kitchen top where I can actually do my work. And when I say work, I mean work. If you guys don't know, if you guys remember back in the days when a man was making YouTube videos, you would know about the Chef Yerimi, okay? Pots and pans are on the way. So that means chef in time starts. I'm gonna start cooking. Again, I've been, I haven't cooked in a while, so I'm gonna start making my normal rice, my tacos, this, that, pff, lasagna, pasta bake. Anyways, yeah, so here, what I like about this place is that it's cool because you can charge your phone or whatever. It's got a power unit right here. Same way, it just goes back down, push it down. And it's got some nice cable management secrets as well. Yeah, so the theme here is basically black, mild, mild hints of black, light gray, charcoal gray, and hints of gold with white, obviously. So as you can see, the kettle toaster, it's all white um, with some gold on it. Even the kitchen, kitchen roll thing, picked it out. It's gold. This is a microwave. Don't cancel me for this, but the ladies like this stuff, okay? Men have no interest in knowing what the hell what kind of spec your microwave is or whatever, but that's the only reason why I'm showing this, because I know the women will be interested in this kind of stuff. I know my mom's watching and saying, oh, what's this microwave saying? Oh yeah, this, that. So, nothing special, usual microwave. Okay, I think this is an oven or a grill. I think it's a grill, oven, something like that. Maybe it's both. That's the situation there. 
Got some storage here. I haven't, do I haven't done the Costco trip, so I haven't done shopping. There's some more storage here, so right now it's a bit dead. But dishwasher, and even the, the cutlery is all black. So my dishwasher, as you can see, so the cutlery is all black. Spoons, knives, forks, everything's metallic black. What do you call this section? I don't know, but it's a snack section, basically. Um, people just left my house now, so I'm running out of snacks. I need to get some more. But this is where I put my snacks usually. Yeah, over here, fridge, freezer. Right now the fridge is kind of empty. More time it's just drinks because I haven't really got any pots and pans. I've been doing takeaways every single day. Fridge, freezer, it's kind of big. Nice space. What else do we have here? More cupboards, 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 cupboards. And then yeah, that's about it for the kitchen. Oh, we got a wine cooler as well. You can see here, we don't drink wine, but I'll put my Cokes in here or whatever. Make sure. It's the wine cooler right there. And now coming towards the aesthetics. As you guys know, I do a lot of things. I do graphic design, poetry, trading. I'm very, um, I'll say I have a lot of hobbies and it's only the last two years I really stuck to one thing, which was trading. And it's finally worked out, obviously, because it's the first time in my life where I've actually focused on one thing. And usually that's my weak point. I'm usually putting my eggs in every single basket, which is good, but sometimes it's a, it's a downfall because you're doing so many things, but you're not a master. You're a jack of, you're not a jack of all trades. You're a jack of all trades, but a master at none. Do you get me? So I don't know if that makes sense, but you get what I'm trying to say. So here, Photoshop, I made this. Billionaire, because anyone can be a millionaire. So I made that design myself. And I like to keep a, a, a theme in this house of everything has to mean something to me. Do you get it? So I can't just be putting up nonsense on the wall. So I'm very um, driven when it comes to like my goals, my ambitions, dunya wise, okay, like certain, money thresholds that I'm trying to hit. So I've got to remind myself, anyone could be a millionaire. You know, if you aim for the stars, you're gonna, you're gonna reach the moon. I don't, know, I don't know what's closer, the moon or the stars. This one's good as well, I like this one. This one means a lot to me. Every righteous person has a past, and every sinner has a future, so you should never, you should never ever lose hope. Um, and that's something that will, you know, remind me of my dean and, you know what I'm trying to say? So now if you look at the living room, the only reason why I'm wearing these shoes, guys, is on the carpet, is because I haven't worn them yet, they're fresh. So, this is the living room. You guys can see with the theme. Um, I like this couch a lot. I ordered it when I was in Saudi. Um, not from Saudi, I ordered it when I was in Saudi, so it arrives by the time I come to London. Um, carpet really matches the theme. Got the light greys, the whites, the dark greys, the charcoal greys, just goes with everything. Over here, 86 inch TV. Now, quick backstory about this TV. I ordered this TV, time back. I was supposed to get it on the 1st of August. That was my delivery date. On the 1st of August, they messaged me saying, hey, your delivery date has been postponed to the 1st of September because this TV is not in stock at the moment. I'm thinking, well, how can you do that when I've ordered it already? So I went into the curries the next day, I just found this one. They said, sorry, this is the only one we have left. I said, take it off the goddamn shelf. So I bought this one outright straight away. I took this one. Over here, some of my favorite, favorite reads, The Power of Positive Thinking by Norman Vincent Pill. This book right here, it helped me a lot. And uh, it was recommended by Steve Harvey. Steve Harvey, you guys know, if you follow me on Instagram, you know how um, much of an impact Steve Harvey made on my life, especially in my low time. Like a very motivational speaker, father figure type of situation. Obviously, I don't really take some things that he believes with regards to his religion, but edit everything else I do take. Um, the Tenix Rule by Grant Cardone. If you're trying to um, find out the difference between success and failure, this book is the one, especially if you're into sales and stuff like that. And just in general, life is about sales. Life is about networking, who you can put yourself in front of. So I would recommend that book. The Cashflow Quadrant by Robert, Robert Kiyosaki, The Key to Financial Freedom. I'm um, all trying to get there. I'm not really financially where I want to be, but alhamdulillah, I'm very, very um, much better than I used to be. But Robert Kiyosaki speaks about the Cashflow Quadrant, the employee, the self-employed, the investor, and the business owner. Our aim is to become a person that owns a system um, so that the system works for us even when we are asleep, so that we don't depend on anything um, and that the money is working for us even in our absence. Building a, building a Millionaire Mindset by Johnny Wimbry. Below you've got the 48 Laws of Power. And below that, you've got the Quran. Not because it's below anything, but because I don't want anyone to put anything close to the Quran, so I must protect it. Over here, it's not silly, you guys might think it's silly, but I was in the airport and I saw this, um, I walked into the Dior store and I saw this candle. This candle is actually from Dior. If you bring it closer, you'll see. And it just smells so banging. You can see it here. But here, I saw this nice little lamp. Loved it, matches the theme, something little, Nice for the side. Freshly grounded game. My brother Faisal, shout out every single time. Every single person that's coming to my house, I've played this game with them. This is such a vibe. Like the conversation me and my friends are having, like the sub branches that come out from this game, 
Um, it's crazy. Um, it's being discontinued, so by the time this is out, I don't think it'll be available, but if it's still available, go and order it freshlygrounded.com. Over here, lovely. I've got this nice little circular table. I ordered some nice grey chairs to match the table because I wanted to find grey chairs which have um, gold highlights on their legs. Over here, you've got my WhatsApp status. So I wanted to frame this. I made this on Photoshop, framed it up. I made the text myself or whatever. Um, the most wonderful gift one human being can give to another is in some way to make that person's life a little better to live. This is something that I really, really try and implement in my life and try and live by because look, having money, having like a little bit of success, it's all good. But if you're, if you're, if you're the only person that's made it out at the end and all your people are suffering sort of thing, what have you done, man? You know what I'm trying to say? You can't, that's not a, that's not a boss move, that's not a flex. So yeah, it's not a flex at all, man. So you've got to be able to, hit, to, to help the people around you. So right now the sun's setting, so the view's going to look a lot better. But yeah, if we step into the Balukanite, as you can see, one charb, two charb, three charb, four charb, five charb, six charb, seven charb. I am on top of the world. Keep it down, will you? I heard a rumor. Not a rumor, I heard a fact, I believe. I'm not sure if it's true, but that yacht over there, that white yacht, is, belongs to the owner of Westfield on the left. But over here, right in front of me, this is the second financial capital in the world, the financial district of the world. First is New York, Wall Street. Second is Canary Wharf, London. So over here, we've got Citibank, HSBC, JP Morgan, Morgan Stanley, One Canada Square, all these investment funds, KPMG, this, 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 that. And it's, very, it's a financial area. It's crazy because I, I, I would have never thought um, something like this could happen. But with the industry that I'm in, it's mad. Trading institutional strategies. And now I'm up here looking at the institutions. By the way, I'm buying a um, telescope. I'm buying a telescope, it's gonna happen. I'm gonna buy a telescope, put it here. Start looking at Jupiter on some nights, yeah? It's a nice little two-seater area. You can come here, and you can literally sit down, especially at night. Ooh, such a nice little vibe. Talk about life, watch the sunset. Have a nice little dinner over here, have a nice little meal. So over here, I got this fat mirror. Oh, whoa, 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 stop, 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 stop. Hey, 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 hey. It's top secret, man. We're going in chronological order. Over here, large mirror. As you know, when you wake up in the morning, you want to see what's going on for the grip of the day. Um, anyways, here, the storage. This is where I can pretty much dash everything and hide it. So that was old frames and old chairs that came with the house. I didn't really like it, so I dashed it over there. So now, Step into my, this is where we catch pips. Welcome to my office. This is where it goes down, this is where I plot, plan. Um, as you guys know, I had the three monitor set up before, but I gave it to my little brother. My little brother smashing it, mashallah. So I just decided to go for the 32 inch curved monitor. Is it 32 inch or 31 inch, something like that anyway. So I wake up here, analyze the charts, enter a trade, but I'm gonna be having some more day in the life type of videos which are more trading related this is just a house tour um, but yeah the trading videos are coming out very soon i'm going to show you guys what i get up to on a day-to-day -day basis exactly how i catch these pips the office isn't really done done yet i'm waiting on two more signs i've designed these as well you've probably seen this around but i remixed it to turn it turned into pounds one million a year 83k a month 19k a week 2.7k a day dreams don't work unless you do I also created this one, discipline. Now, you have to show up even on your bad days. Okay, first of all here, my Forex funds. You can see this is where I passed my, um, my Forex funds evaluation. Through discipline, hard work and determination, this trader has proven themselves to be capable of achieving the required profit targets within allocated risk parameters. This trader is officially a my Forex funds professional trader. You can see signed and everything. And obviously I passed two of them, so I got a um, 400K account my forex funds anyways talk more about that in trading videos but hey this is my book selection um other than the ones on the coffee table these are the rich dad poor dad the usual oops how to win friends and influence people the magic of thinking big oh, one of my favorites the richest man in babylon <laughs> what's going on um, online marketing game plan you guys know me i'm into marketing i love marketing studied that at uni before i dropped out how to stop feeling so damn depressed and no bs guide for men sometimes as men you know it gets a bit overwhelming. How to stop overthinking. This is like, it's what I use for my trading psychology. Um, not even for trading, to be honest, just in general. Like sometimes I overthink. Um, market wizards, 
This is basically an interview with um, top traders around the world. So this, if you're into trading, I'd definitely recommend you to get this. And then, yeah, this is, um, I basically got this book to kind of help any of my friends that are going through situations or whatever, or just anyone in general, just to know about the topic and overcoming depression one step at a time. Yeah, that's a book little collection. It's my whiteboard. As you guys can see, this is how I plan my TikTok videos and what I'm release. Buy mum gold video, Harry's video, paying for house video, plus 40k day profit when I made 40k in a day trading. Yes, trading, not from a course, trading. I know you guys don't want to believe that, but I've shown proof on the page. Go check it out. Picking up the keys for the house video, which is this video, watching the furnished tour video, which is what I'm doing right now. One-to-ones with students in the meeting room. 25k withdrawal proof. I decided to withdraw 20k instead. Didn't want an extra 5k, just kept it in and I'll withdraw it another time. That's my green screen at the bottom there, so whenever I want to start, um, shall I show you guys? Yeah. My green screen right there. Yeah, man, one of the best investments I've made. And yeah, if we head over to this side, first thing you see is what? Hustle, the only controllable pillar of success. You guys know me for these posters and I'm not gonna lie, when I first started trading, even though we don't trade the same strategy now, Swaggy C, I was learning a lot from Swaggy C. And he's someone who's really, really helped me out and really motivated me and inspired me um, in terms of his trading journey. So bro, Swaggy C, if you ever watching this, pick up you, my bro. You really, really, really had a huge impact on my life, man. And you really paved the way, lockdown. He was carrying Swaggy C was carrying YouTube Forex. Yeah, he was really carrying the YouTube scene, man. So big up Swaggy C. This is where I got inspiration for these posters from. My guy. And I want to meet you, bro. I want to meet you. Swaggy, I want to link up with you. Let me know, bro. I'll, I'll fly out to Puerto Rico, the main bathroom. I don't really like it with these lights on, but I like it when it's low. Can you get me? So that's the main bathroom here. Shower. So that's that right there. And over here, this is one thing I really liked about this house. For the price I'm paying, I want to be able to walk around the yard. So this is a nice long corridor sort of situation, which you don't usually get in Canary Wharf. So yeah, grind, you guys already know this, to perform repetitive tasks over and over in order to attain a goal. Welcome to the guest bedroom. So this is the guest bedroom, guys, man. Um, as you can see, the view's better when the lights are off. So the view's a lot better. And the lights are off. So yeah, man. Um, this is the guest bedroom. So if you're my Bredriano, if you're my Bredriano, this is basically where you're going to be sleeping. So if you show them from that angle there, please do not see this like in the most respectful way. Please, guys, yeah. Please. If I don't know you like that, please, please, guys, don't shout me and say, hey, bro, have you got a spare room? Can I rent it from you? I'm not renting out this room to anyone. I'm not giving this room to anyone. These, this is my workspace. There's a whole reason why I got a three bed instead of a one bed. I'm that kind of guy where if you ask me, I'll probably say, yeah, so please don't ask me. Please don't ask me, okay? I'm really trying to stay locked in and focused in this place. Grind mode. I'm trying to hit M's, I'm trying to reach millions. So this is my winter wardrobe. As you know, winter time's coming now. So it's the jackets, a couple blazers, my fur jackets. I'm big on fur jackets, former jackets, fur, denims, camo, shiny ones, clean run. Shout out Clean Run Clothing. This is the most comfortable jacket I have in here. Go check out Clean Run Clothing. Um, but that's my winter wardrobe. If we just go here now, go into the main bedroom. I'm not gonna lie. I wanted this room to be my main bedroom because of the view. This still has a nice view, but the only reason why it's my main bedroom, you're gonna find out. The reason why this is the main bedroom is because it's got more views of central. So you can see Tower Bridge, the Shard, the London Eye, both views. That's why it's the main bedroom. Because it's got Canary Wharf, and central and over here a bird decided to let one off on the window my burberry burberry my harrods and when i was feeling a bit cheeky so yeah this is where i decided to go crazy this is my normal wardrobe but i don't know how i'm gonna fit all my clothes because i've got a lot of my other clothes at my mom's house so this is got a light in there whenever you open it the light turns on but yeah black section of the blacks i'm into my shirts and smart casual so i have a lot of shirts i like to dress kind of smart over here is the Yerim University hoodies. Big up Yerim University. If you want to learn how to trade and make some real money, if you're willing to dedicate six months to a year of crazy hard work, make sure you sign up to the course. It's probably 499 now because you missed out on 299 price, but check it out anyway. Over here, yeah, I've got my jeans, trousers, all that situation over there. This is why this is the main bedroom because I've got an ensuite. The ensuite. Uh, you know, I come, 
where I shower, wash my hair, you, you, you know how it goes down. And over here I've got my little section, you know, I like to take care of myself. Yeah, let me, let me put you guys on. He's not asking, what's your skincare routine? What's your... Bro, this is all I use for my face. Vaseline, cocoa, radiant, body oil. But I use it for my face. Thank me later. And I can't lie, I'm a Messi fan. I, I, I hate Ronaldo in terms of football, not as a person, but his perfume, dangerous. CR7, thank me later. It's all this perfume and chat to me. So yeah, that's pretty much it for the house. Now let's take a look at the facilities. What do we have to offer? What's in this building? Come and take a look. And now if I show, if I show you guys the view one more time, but I want to turn off all the lights. This is to die for. Look at this, man. This is so surreal. Because even now, when all the lights are dimmed, it just feels so crazy, man. Look at this. Ooh. Sunset crazy. Everything literally lights up crazy. So yeah, um, and even though you can see my trading lab from there, and that's a door I can get into. Okay. So <clears throat> first up, I have to be a bit more quiet because this is the lounge. This is where the residents of the building, a lot of these people here, they're in their 30s. They are of very, very high status. So sometimes I come here, work from home, but at big companies like JP Morgan, Morgan Stanley, um, I met some proper, proper multi-millionaires in this building. Footballers, like footballers live here. I've been swimming with them, or swimming. I'm into swimming again, I shouldn't have done that, but yeah. Hint, hint. Yeah, as you can see, it's a nice little lounge area. A very nice little mood, nice little vibe right now. You can actually hire out this place on the app for like three hours. Um, you can hire it out for three hours and you can have this entire, this entire place to yourself. Hey. If you're my friend, you're invited for a barbecue. We've got an outdoor barbecue grill here. You can chef it up, chef your reams back in town. If you're waiting for your food to be served, you can just wait here. Yo, your reamy, where's the chick shot? Yo, relax, it's nearly coming. Yeah, that's where, that's where all that stuff will happen. But yeah, nice little seating area here. Wrap around the Canary Wharf views. Um, you can walk down here. Once again, nice little long aisle to walk down. This is my favorite area. This is where I come. Put an audio book in my ear or I'm reading a book and just to listen. <sighs> and a vibe. Yeah man, this 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 work goes down. Nice little things again. Come out here for some tea, make some karak chai, bring it downstairs. You know, chill here. As you can see more seating areas here. So you can really do whatever you want. You're probably thinking, what is this? This is where I'm going to make the transformation of a lifetime. You have a 24 hour gym. Okay, it's not the biggest, but it's got everything you need to become the biggest. All right, as you can see, got your bench press there. Come around, do your workouts, treadmill. You don't need nothing more to be honest to give you fresh towels as well. Squat rack, this situation over here. All right, cool. So, yeah, this is the cinema room. There's currently people here, lovely people that have let me record quickly, even though they've booked it, but yeah, come, 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 come. Nonsense here. I don't have no clue who these people are. Any who I don't know what this post, these posts are. But anyways, yeah. Some nice little cinema seats. Wham TV. Another outdoor area. I don't know why they've got a consistent theme of seating areas and unnecessary places. Yeah, seats over there. And you've got a fridge just down there. Over here you've got the meeting room. This is where I just finished up my students. So if you're part of your university. Um, furthermore, check out the reviews that the students have left. Um, from the session that we've had today. This is where we were today. In the meeting room. It was here. Charts were on the screen. Doing some analysis together. There's one more thing left. You're probably thinking, yo, what's left? What, can it possibly get any crazier? Of course it can. You can already smell what's going on. You can already smell it, let's go. Over here, you got the now changing rooms. Come through, got some fresh towels there. It's nice, they provide you with everything you want. Toilets are right there. Personal lockers, lock yourself up. Don't slip, brother. Careful, it's a bit wet. Yeah, so this is basically the swimming pool right here. As you can see, swimming, sauna, steam. So I come every morning after I go for a little jog, after I go for a run, so I go bang some gym, jump in here. But that's about it, man. Um, yeah. So yeah, man, guys, this building is crazy. Um, I'm very, very, very grateful that I'm able to live here now. Um, it's one of my short-term goals accomplished. If my battery didn't die, I would have showed you guys the wallpaper on my phone. It's been Canary Wharf. 
for so long. My wallpaper was literally the lights in Canary Wharf for so long and I'm able to live in one of these and actually see these views every single day from the top or the top or the top floor. Crazy. Um, living here, like, but the connections I've made, the neighbours that I've got, like, multi-millionaires, footballers. It's so crazy to think that I'm living with these kind of calibre of people now. They're like, yo, you're this young and you're living over here I'm on this floor? I'm like, yeah, you get what I'm trying to say? Like most people here have roommates and handily learn. I'm able to live here by myself. Um, so yeah, man, the networking opportunities in this place, ridiculous, bro. Trust me, ridiculous. I, I would have never have thought before when you're outside and I was trying to hustle and give out my business cards and giving out business cards and stuff and trying to network. No one was trying to hear me. And now over here, when they see the, the number that I'm pressing on the lift, everyone wants a conversation now. And it's so crazy because it makes sense, isn't it? Like money respects money, but the world shouldn't have to work like that. But it's sad that it does. If you take away one thing from this video, you guys have seen, I've always shown you my journey on Snapchat. The days I was broke, the days I had minus six pounds in my bank account, the days that I was in debt. If you've been following me, I've been so transparent and I've shown you guys my entire journey from zero, from zero. You guys have seen, you can't fake this, you can't make it up. You've seen my live withdrawals on the page every single time. Today, I made a 20K withdrawal. You know what I'm trying to say? 40K was made the other day. Like constantly, constantly, constantly. 50K in two days, 40K days. Trading profits. Trading profits meaning what? It's just me and my screen. No course nonsense, obviously, do you get me? I learned for two years, then I started a course. I didn't start a course in nowhere. But if you really want to learn how to take your life to the next level, www.yurimiuniversity.com, buy the course, thank me later. I've got nothing else to say. Take care, everybody. I'm going to show you guys my come up in my live interview, in my documentary that's coming real soon. Take care. You feel the animals. Good night.